Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's reaction time. What's playing, Dan? John Wick. John Wick, baby. I'm so ready for this right now. Me it's too. John Wick month, fam. Let's get into it. Cheers to you, fam. Whoa. Okay. My my brain couldn't com couldn't uh, download what was going on there <laughs> fast enough. Well, he's all bloodied up. Something happened. Poor guy. He's passing out. He's lost some blood. It looks yeah. like he's lost his wife here. So it seems. Oh. Is that a stroke or an aneurysm? Could be aneurysm. Could be cancer. Whatever it was, he clearly loved her a lot. This is affecting him hard. It's a very somber beginning. Very much so. I keep asking why her. Don't blame yourself. What are you really doing here, Marcus? Just checking up on an old friend. What's that all about? Oh, well, sounds like a subtle threat. It felt very underhanded, huh? Mm-hmm. John Wick? Yes? Sign here, please. There's a puppy. Mm-hmm. John, I'm sorry I can't be there for you, but you still need something to love. What's her last... It's her last gift to him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> what a cute dog. <laughs> Daisy. Hmm. Of course. There's a little Daisy on the <laughs> card too, I saw. <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, good luck with that. No, she'd be a perfect sleeping companion. <laughs> She's just gonna end up in that bed. <laughs> no, she will. I'm up. Up. You don't need an alarm <laughs> clock. <laughs> Literally done. Hey. Oh. Yeah, now you figured it out. <laughs> what? Dogs have to eat too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab you some kibble later. Dog doesn't care. <laughs> I say she's good with that. Yeah. Man, this dog has already made itself at home. Mm-hmm. Here to call a shotgun. Did he even see her get in? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> nice ride. Mm. Mustang. Well, hello, Theon Greyjoy. How much? She's not for sale. I want a sukan yet. Oh. Mm. Oh. Spoke to the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Good day, sir. Somebody's got their head on. A little bit better manners there. Yeah. Well, don't scare the dog. I don't know, maybe he doesn't know what to do. Could be. Dealing with his emotions right now. Dealing with them all the only way he probably knows how. Mm-hmm. What? Uh-oh. Oh. No. no. They caught him off guard. I hope. Oh! Mm. That's a metal bat, too. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. No. <gasps> oh, no. No, no, what no, no, no. no. What the f- No, 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 no. Hell no! Oh, man, you are a dead duck. Oh, poor baby. That was his wife's gift to him. Mm-hmm. This is messed up. What the hell? I hate that. It's one of those things I almost can't handle in movies. I know, it's depressing to watch. Yes. Yo, Relio, I want a new VIN number and some clean papers. John Leguizamo. Mm hmm Hell yeah. Where'd you get that car? Jesus. He messed up his other car. Uh, he knows now. Not that he didn't need a reason to kill him in the first place, but... The owner of the car, did you, did you kill him or what? No. That was your mistake. Mm-hmm. Sure as hell fucked up his dog. Fucked up his dog, that's what you did. You yeah. fucked up his dog. Yeah. All yeah. Crazy yeah. shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Thank you. Amigo, he's not gonna like this. His boys are all over the place. You won't yeah. leave that place alive. Everybody's watching, too. Oh, yeah. I heard you struck my son. Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, may I ask why? Because you stole John Wick's car, sir, and uh, killed his dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know something went bad, because if a mob boss calls you and that's his only response to, oh. to that. <laughs> I love movies like this, where yeah. it's like everybody's afraid of this one person. You don't need exposition, you just need reactions and you know what's going on. Yes. 
Ooh. Oh, oh, right in the gut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All that vodka came up. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I gave it to him. So it would hurt coming up. Yeah. yeah. So I stole the fucking car. Oh, fuck, <laughs> I understand him, though. I wouldn't have watched this either. Yeah, right? It's not what you did. It's who you did it to. The fucking nobody? That fucking nobody is John Wick. Hey, why does the kid not know who John Wick is? I don't know. That's weird. We called him Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. Well, John wasn't exactly the boogeyman. He was the one you sent to kill the fucking boogeyman. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Boogeyman 2.0. <laughs> John is a man of focus. Yeah. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Oh, my. And now that man has a reason to kill you. Yes. Good luck. He asked to leave. I gave him a job no one could have pulled off. The bodies he buried that day lay the foundation of what we are now. Oh my god. <laughs> and you went and effed up his life? You steal his car and kill his fucking dog. Father, I can make this right. The only way you can do that is by dying. John will come for you. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, tuck him while you can, because he'll get him to die soon. Oh my. Oh, he's got a whole cache of stuff there. Like a John Wick starter kit. <laughs> Hello, John. <laughs> he didn't answer. <laughs> Let us not resort to our baser instincts and handle this like civilized men to move on. No thanks. We had a chance for civility. We're well past that point. What did he say? Enough. Mm. Oh man, let's take up a tattoo. Jesus. Yeah, we don't mess with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who looks like that, you probably shouldn't mess with. Them. Yeah. Okay. Good God. Jesus. That's everybody. <laughs> That's some accuracy right there. Oh my God. He's headshotting people like it's nothing. Yes. <laughs> the training that must have went into this. I know. He hasn't lost a beat here. <laughs> I know. Good God. Incredible. Oh my oh, god. god. Jesus. No pressure. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh my god. Nicely done. Man handles his business. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, not this. Bad timing. Evening, John. Evening, Jimmy. Huh? Noise complaint. Noise complaint. <laughs> <laughs> mm, kind of hard to hide, hide that. That was there when I got home. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. Oh, well. What? I'll leave you be then. Okay. I like neighborhood security here. So the police are corrupt. Got it. I'd like to make a dinner reservation for 12. Gold coin for every one of them? Maybe. Looks like he's got them to spare. I'm going to say he's got plenty. Good to see you, John. Hey! Charlie. You know who this guy is? He's the guy that uh, Schwarzenegger said I'd promised to kill you last in Commando. That's Sully. Sully. Yeah. That's Sully. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so these guys, these guys are professional cleaning service. Mm-hmm. This is, don't look like your average maids. <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> Goodbye, Charlie. John. Looks like Sully's retired from violence himself. Didn't work out for him. No. Put a contract on John Wick. How much? Two million. These are like chip payments. English. There you go. Please. Put yourself in the red circle and wait. Why do you hire this guy if he can't speak your language? I know, right? What kind of right-hand man is he? Thank you. Ew. <laughs> what do I owe this visit? No, thank you. Put some vodka in that. <laughs> Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? Is the contract exclusive? No, it's open. It's a time limit. It has to be handled quickly. Consider it done. Really? I guess they weren't that close. Money talks, I guess. Yeah. If John Wick is the boogeyman, I would pay more than two million to kill him, wouldn't you? A lot more. <laughs> Do enjoy your stay. Thanks. Good seeing you again, John. Perkins. Perkins. <laughs> Room 818. It is a pleasure having you with us again, Mr. Wick. When everybody knows you. I must complaint, though. Hmm. I have a restaurant hotel management degree. Mm -hmm. 
and under no circumstances are you allowed to just openly tell somebody their room number. So I never thought about that. Privacy for your guests. Yes. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Well, this place is kind of out of the way. That was not worth a gold coin. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All this is in the Continental there, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. In the basement, apparently. That's fine. Mm. Hello, Winston. Jonathan. Love to see you, Mr. Ian McShane. You got out once. You dip so much as a pinky back into this pond, you may well find something drags you back into its depths. Yeah, they already did that. In his defense, though, they came to him. That's true. Wicks at the Continental. We have a contact there who's willing to take him out for us. If they're willing to break the rules of Continental, double the bounty. You know the rules. No business can be conducted on these premises lest incurring heavy penalties. It's personal. But we know this. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know that. Compliments of the house. Okay, I guess that's the location. Yeah. This guy doesn't deserve to be there. No. He's about to be a VDP. Are you scared of the fucking boogeyman? I'm not. No. But you should be. Your father clearly didn't beat enough sense into you. Exactly. Hey, is that Kevin Nash? Is it? Yeah. The wrestler? Hello, Francis. Mr. Vig. <laughs> the tip of the deal. You want such kilogram. <laughs> Why don't you take the night off? Oh, wow. What a gift he gave you. I'm gonna say, at least he gave you the chance to walk away. He didn't offer that to anybody else so far. Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was quiet. No. Ooh. Fuck you, motherfucker. Wrong answer. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Ugh, man. Go ahead, get it out. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. Uh oh. Well, well that's going Public good. now. Shoot him. You Take got him. Oh, my God. Really? Jesus. <laughs> that took a lot of shots. Everybody's dying for you, Alfie Woodward. That's more like it. The girls might actually enjoy this side of you. <laughs> John's just casually walking through the crowd. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. And everybody's still just dancing. I know. Good God. Oh, Good God. Rambo didn't have a kill count like this. How's anybody that precise? I don't know. He has time to reload? I know. What? Oh. Oh, he got you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that seemed a bit extra, actually. I'm good with it, man. This is awesome. <laughs> he hasn't encountered an issue he can't handle. No. Like Good he's... night. Like, all this security is worthless. What is this? Is this Gunkata? <laughs> <laughs> Just all shoot these... him. He doesn't want to kill innocent people. Well, then again, he's got no problem shooting in the crowd like that. I was going to say. Oh, my God. As accurate as he's been, he shouldn't have any trouble. Oh, it's a fight now. Yeah, the head of security can actually fight. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah. John Wick's also been shot, so. Uh oh Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. oh. That's got to hurt. I wouldn't be getting up from that. Probably should use that sooner. In John Wick's defense, he's also been waiting his way through paid security. The head of security has only fought one guy. Fair. Fair. Victor's dead. <laughs> Why do they have Ooh. no title Victor's dead? Oh, I don't know, but that's a good use of his own words back at him. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Mr. Wick. Good evening. He's a doctor. <laughs> so casual. 24-7. How good's your laundry? I'm sorry to say that no one's that good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Perhaps I could see the tailor. Yeah. I love how just casual about it they are. Yeah. What sort of movement am I looking at? Well, if you're looking to heal and keep it marginal. Yeah, he's not going to keep it marginal. <laughs> Take two of these beforehand. Your stitches will tear <laughs> and you'll bleed, but you'll have full function. Good enough. Oh, here's his buddy. Former buddy. They might still be friends, but I mean, business is business. <laughs> That's the weirdest part about it, is how gray the lining is there. Yeah, I know. 
Uh oh. <gasps> yeah, he missed on purpose. Oh, Perkins. Yeah, what the hell? What are you doing, Perkins? Isn't this against the rules? Yes. Mm. He doesn't need a gun. Nope. <laughs> Noise complaint? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, 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 geez. God. Yep, she's going right for it. Oh. God. Oh. Oh, God. That'll work. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, she's, she's got to be done. I hope so. We have received a number of grievances from your floor concerning the noise. I was dealing with an uninvited guest. Ah. Mm. A dinner reservation, perhaps? Perhaps. The code words, I love them. Yeah. Where's Yosef? I'm not telling you shit. Do you really want to die here, Perkins? Because you're going to. John don't care. Make no difference to him. Little Russia. There's a church. It's a front. Mm -hmm. It's where Vigo keeps his private stash. By those knuckle tats. <laughs> Figured as much. Yeah, well, that's not what he asked. Well, he asked where they were. They're not there. Yeah. Do I know you? Hey, John. Hey, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys just talking to the boxers. Hey, Harry. You keen on earning a coin? Catch and release. Catch and release. I Jeez. love this so much. <laughs> the whole casual business about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's familiarity. We do this on a daily basis. We're used to it. My son, how might they help you? Oh. Boy, there's something you don't see every day. I'll help myself, thank you. Zanayu. The little babushka sitting there, too. I know. <laughs> da magu. Code. Figo will kill me. Uh huh. <laughs> die now or die later. What do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. He's burning it. That's where, how you hurt him the most. You want to you wanna get these guys' attention, F with their money. Oh, yeah. That pisses them right off. It's bad enough they wanted to kill you, but... It's personal for them now. Oh, yeah. Didn't have to be this way. Your son could didn't have to run away. And Vigo killed him. Yeah. All you have to do is turn over your son. Matter of been resolved, but... Yeah. He was a dead man anyway. Yeah. But yeah. You've done business on continental grounds, and management does not take kindly to that sort of behavior. Fuck management. Oh, no. Oh. Housekeeping will find you. You are going to die. Oh, right? yes. Can we recover for this? They go, you know what was in that vault, right? It's not. <laughs> what? He was waiting. <laughs> Johnny Boy is on the offensive, too, man. He is surgical with every one of his weapons. Mm hmm. Oh. 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 I'm sure, that felt good on his shoulder. He's got so much pain medicine going through him right now. I know, right? Do you know what was in that vault? Leverage I had on this city. Fucking priceless! Well, whose fault is this? Mm hmm. Blame your son. I kind of enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you did. Imagine how priceless that dog and that car are to him. Yeah. How's that any less important? You took what mattered to him, he took what mattered to you. Step aside. Give me your son. Baba Yaga. It was just a fucking car, just a fucking dog. Just money, mm -hmm. just blackmail. When Ellen died, I lost everything until that dog arrived on my doorstep. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. And your son killed that for me! So you can either hand over your yeah. son, or you can die screaming alongside him! Oh. I felt that anger. I know. All of it. So you didn't just steal his dog and his car, you stole hope from him. Oh! Ooh. I guess they are still friends. I'm about to say, he could have killed him right there. Mm-hmm. Is that still the head of the security guy? Yep, it is. And they have unfinished business. Oh my god. Look. John's always getting strangled by something. I noticed that too. His neck is at a weak point, apparently. Yeah. Bite it off. It's a bit much, don't you think? Well, man can't use it later. <laughs> I mean, fair. Oh, he's got him. He's yeah. got him. There's no getting out of that. Yep, that worked. Nice. He was a good foe. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. John! Hey, where is he? 
shit! It's your use then. Come on. <laughs> yep. I have your word then. If I tell you where he is, you let me walk away. What? Pull the contract. Done. It's kept in a safe house, Brooklyn, four three four Wallace Place. They know you're coming, but it won't matter. <laughs> you let him walk. <laughs> that was the agreement they made. All right. Give me your son, and we'll call it even. He gave up his son. I just. That just hit me. <laughs> Something tells me he was expecting that at the beginning of the film, so... Okay, yeah. Frio. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, well, he's gonna stop now. We got your wish. Get down, get down! Oh, my God. So he's not the one you need to worry about right now. Everybody's dying for you. You are not worth dying for. You guys should probably be running. Oh my god, when did you have time to set all those up? <laughs> it's pretty bad security if he got in down there. Seriously. <laughs> oh yeah. I think we'll give up. Done deal. Can't say I, uh, I'm surprised anymore, but yeah. Mm. No, it wasn't. You know, I thought for sure he'd make that last longer. You know what? Yeah, like drangulation or something. Or, or even just thumbs like through the eyes. I don't know. Let him bleed out slowly. A parting gift from the management. Compensation for last night's unfortunate incident. They gave him a car. I guess so. I guess they can afford it. I'd say it's a pretty fancy place. Yeah. And they deal in gold. <laughs> It'll work. Actually, I think I like the other one better. Yeah, it's not a bad little gift from a hotel. No, not at all. How many times do I have to save your ass? I appreciate it. You made new life, you find your way back to it. It's time to go home. Yep, you took care of your business. I mean, he really handled that, man. <laughs> you think? God almighty. Would he kill 50 people? He had to. <laughs> oh no, they're on his case now. Mm. No. Oh, because he broke the contract. Yeah, it was bound to happen. Every chance. And if you have done your job, my son will be still alive. But your son didn't deserve to be alive. Miss Perkins. Why am I not surprised? In for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah, you're really in it too, Perkins. Mm -hmm. Go out on my own. That's right. There you go. That's all right. He went down fighting. That's right. This guy hid like a coward. Mm -hmm. It's easy to hit somebody when they're all tied up. He's just venting now. Yeah. The fact that he did that and called to tell John about it, he's asking for a fight. Exactly. Dude, he, was, he let you live. <laughs> he was scot-free, and then he's screwed it all up. We just left him there. Really undignified, like. Well, he still went out the way he wanted. He did. Does she know she's in trouble? She does now. <laughs> she does now. Your membership to the Continental has been by thine own hand revoked. Oh, she's... I'm glad none of them missed. They would have shot each other. I was about to say, all she had to do is duck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, look his back. Hey, good to see him again. I love his presence <laughs> in movies in general. We live by a code. Which is why I'm not the one telling you it was a certain helicopter that's being fueled for a certain someone. You guys just can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> I no. mean, come on. The dad is just as dumb as his son. Yeah. Oh, fuck. At this point, because he's he's on your case, just being that close to a helicopter, it's not going to oh, do man. anything for you. Oh, no. Come on, guys, drive better than that. <laughs> you let a little car do that to you? I know, that's pathetic. Who's got a gun? Why don't you have a gun? That's a good question, actually. Ooh. Ooh. That hurt. Somebody, yeah. That was right on the passenger side, too. What makes you think they're going to have any luck? They've made it this far. Well, they just haven't been in the way yet. Probably. Jesus. 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 He's just taking his time. For sure. English, please. Good luck. Yeah. You're gonna need it. Russian Wow. <laughs> At this point, who cares? My question is, why are you still fighting? You know you're gonna die if you try. 
Really? You all smoke because you shot the door of his car. <laughs> Man. Oh, come on, that shit is fatal. That is. Come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, no. Get out. <laughs> He's trying. There you go. When did it start raining? I was going to say, it wasn't raining a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> so it just starts down for Somebody fix the continuity in this movie. No more bullets. No more bullets. Oh, street fight. This doesn't seem like a fair fight. No. But then again, I don't know him. I think he's at least 30 years older. Yeah, Vigo's a street fighter. He ain't got no martial arts skills. We were professionals. Civilized. We want to civilize you. Well, he was civilized. You guys messed him up. Mm hmm. That looked an awful lot like Keanu landed on his head. <laughs> a little bit. Clearly, you need a, a knife. What? Why? Because it takes a knife oh. out of play. There you go. Oh. Controlled stabbing is better than a random one. I guess so. There you go. This shouldn't be a contest. Actually, for the most part, it wasn't. But then I think John just got kind of tired of playing with him and let him stab him. Good seeing you, John. I doubt that very much. Yeah. Yeah. Good seeing you. In hell. Mm-hmm. He just took down an entire organized crime <laughs> syndicate by himself. Marcus got to, but... But yes. Is he in a, a dog kennel? He is! Why is there a kennel by the ducks? I don't understand that. I don't either. Oh. Better than nothing. Oh no. It has to that. happen. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, a bandage probably would have sufficed. Staples are no joke, man. I wouldn't even imagine trying to do that. Poor babies. I can't imagine being a dog, having to be in a kennel or oh, a know. cage like that. Right. Just helpless, you know? They're all just watching him. It sucks. They deserve better than that for their lives. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Let's go. Get him a new dog. It'll do. And he's a cute one, too. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There you go. There it is. That was awesome. <laughs> the semi-happy ending. All right, I thoroughly enjoyed the hell out of that. That is such an awesome movie. I love the choreography. Oh my god. Like, I'm, I'm not normally a, a guns type of person. Like, mm. I, I enjoy, like, sword fighting and stuff. But, like, the choreography in there is just beautiful. It's like watching a kung fu movie but with guns. I know, right? Because of the guns, it reminds me... What's that movie it reminds me of? Uh, Equilibrium? Mm -hmm. And with Because it's called Gun Kata, what they use in Equilibrium. You know, the way they use it as part of their movements. Yeah. It felt like he was fluid with his weapons mm -hmm. and how he used them as part of his martial arts. I thought that was amazing. So, but yeah, that goes back to you liking the choreography. His precision was ridiculous, though. Like, no wonder this guy's a master assassin. Like, every other shot was a headshot. I imagine if there's, if there's a whole bunch of assassins in this world... Mm -hmm then they're all probably really good at what they do. I mean, but Perkins didn't do too bad either there. No, and, and she was no match for him, really. Yeah. Because she was landing as many blows as she possibly could. Mm -hmm. In the end, he, all you had to do was get a hold of her and throw her. <laughs> it's like, but well, you were never a match for him. <laughs> right. But if his buddy hadn't shot the pillow, oh yeah, she'd have had the drop on him. Honestly, there's a couple times in that movie where he probably should have died. I mean, it's good that Marky was there to help him out, but like once Vigo had captured him later on in the film, yeah, like Vigo honestly probably should have just killed him, and he should have been wise enough to know that that was the course to take, but didn't do it. Right. If I had to sum up how this movie made me feel, mm -hmm. like at first I was sad mm -hmm. for him because he had lost a lot, mm -hmm. and then I, and I was sad again because he lost even more right there, and then I just felt angry the entire time like every time he took somebody down it felt like i was getting angrier you you empathize with john yes yeah. hardcore yes absolutely Empath hardcore empathize empathize with him and it's like man no amount of anything you're doing to them feels like it's enough you know but it's like but that i think that's part of the point is that nothing you do is going to make you feel better so even when he actually did get joseph it just it just felt like another guy getting killed it didn't feel like okay i'm i'm satisfied now we're even like it felt like something yeah, there needs to be more. 
You think that might have been the point? Probably. Where to where the point that they're trying to make is, even if you got revenge, mm -hmm. you're not gonna feel better for it because I don't. I felt like I felt like you got some uh, satisfaction out of it, but you're not gonna feel better for it because in the end, the people that you care about, the the dog that you're missing, the car mm -hmm. that's still missing, mm -hmm. they're still gone. You know? Right. Yes, you did get a new dog out of it, but it wasn't the one that your wife gave you. Right. Like I say it's a it's a semi happy ending there because you have the opportunity to move on now. You have companionship, but still kind of unfortunately you had to go through what you did to get there. Right. His character, I heard. Somebody had told me that his character is based off of an actual Navy SEAL. I'd heard that somewhere, but I didn't read into it. Marcus Luttrell. Okay. Funny how the hell his buddy's name is Marcus. Hmm. Hmm? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I just... That is so interesting, huh? Well, that's a nice little nod there to the original story. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. So his, uh, so his buddy's name is Marcus. The real-life Navy SEAL, his name is Marcus Luttrell. What had happened, there's a TikTok out there I had, I had heard mm -hmm. of uh, audio where Marcus Luttrell called the police, told him he's in high pursuit of guys that shot his dog, or shot and killed his dog. Mm -hmm. The TikTok was giving me all the information about what's going on, who this guy is, and what he's, you know, what he's about to go do. Because he's called the police to say, you better get there first. Or else I'm going to kill the guy. Yes. Yeah. And I would have empathized with him 100% on oh, that. absolutely. Too. Ran down and killed him. But the police did get there. But he caught up and actually backed up the police and kind of mm -hmm. held these guys down. Yeah, I think you could hear him. I could be wrong, but I think you could hear him in the audio actually telling these guys, you're lucky they got you first or something like that. Right. He was actively talking to them the whole time telling them exactly where he's at i am going down this road at this speed mm -hmm. and they are going and they're going that fast he's like saying i'm going over 100 and they're still ahead of me so yeah he was he was after their asses oh yeah but yeah john wick is based off of that navy seal so, there you go how about that Good information and a cool nod like you said to marcus to, to to marcus there yeah i i wonder if he actually he had to have been named after the actual uh he's there. got to have been that can't just be coincidence yeah that's awesome though yeah. isn't it yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea to take that original story and you know add more elements to it. The other thing too, I like I like this uh, little assassins guild they have going on here. That's fantastic, isn't it? Everybody's just like, hey, how you doing, man? Isn't it? so casual? <laughs> <laughs> I was digging that. Like it was so funny. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like they're all like, oh hey, uh, Nestor or whatever. <laughs> the Continental is basically just cheers for assassins, you know. Yeah, un unbelievable. But I mean, they've got a they've got a clear code of ethics there mm -hmm. where it's like yes you are welcome to stay at the continental and enjoy all of the benefits here is a uh, understanding between us you don't do business on our grounds right kind of thing right otherwise have a good time so it's, it's a social club pretty much you know? pretty much it's safe ground is what it is is what i gather from all that mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah but they've got all the all the high uh, all the high-end offerings you could want yeah they got a nice club like... they got high class alcohol they gave them a free effing car yeah, I think can't argue with that. No, it's like if they can give that away, they can give you anything you want while you're there. Oh yeah, that's incredible. I I'm curious how the economy works with those uh, gold coins. It seems like every service is worth a coin, but I don't know. I don't know how you how you like explain that monetarily. One of the services, all he had to, all the all the damn guy had to do is open a door. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I don't know how that monetary system works, but I don't get it either. Those gold coins don't look like they're cheap, man. I can say. Like, he's using a coin per day, he's using a coin per body, a coin just to enter a bar. You have scenes where it seems like it's worth very little, and scenes where it seems like it's worth a lot. Well, like, even the, even his buddy that he ran into upstairs, mm -hmm. I forgot his name. Harry. Harry, yeah. Yeah. He earned a coin for actively playing a uh, babysitter. Right. For Perkins there, uh, which to me so felt like that was actually worth a golden coin. Not so much just opening a door into a nightclub in the basement. Yeah, like, that seemed a little bit wasteful to me but i don't know but then again i mean if there's something more that he was paying for there mm -hmm. maybe uh maybe maybe him putting that slot in there was a private was for a private audience with like the manager winston yeah maybe because he came in through a pretty exclusive door there right so that could have been what that was about that was about so yeah the other, the other thing this movie reminds me of too is a big trouble in little china they, really they talk about how things start out normal and then get crazy. Oh, this did, didn't it? And it's pretty much the same way. Like, at the beginning, it's just like a basic drama about this man who's lost his wife and trying to move on. And then you introduce this whole whole world of assassins. It's not a truck. It's, it's, a, it's his car. Yeah, it's his car. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Good good call. Yeah. Good call. Well, fam, uh, 
we could we could go on for longer, <laughs> but we're gonna stop it here so you can have so you can pick it up now, okay? I know there's more out there, guys. So by all means, let us know, okay? Please, please, get in those comment sections. Tell us all you know. <laughs> I want to hear this, okay? Because this movie was awesome. I loved every second of it. Oh, yeah. So I can't wait to watch the next one. And guys, Mar the month of March here is dedicated to John Wick. John Wick comes in 4 comes out in March. So Perfect. we're playing all the movies for you this month, guys. Except the newest one because it won't be ready in time. But when it is ready, you, we're going to be reacting to that. Oh, yeah. So absolutely. We're on it, guys. Don't worry. Folks, if you are wanting to know where you can watch this movie, it's on Peacock right now. I thought it was on HBO Max, but it's not anymore. <laughs> that thing moved really fast. It's, it's somewhere. On, yes. It's on Peacock, guys. All three of them. So go watch it if you want, okay? But folks, as always, if you're brand new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It helps us grow. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications whenever we drop our next video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, please do so in those comments below, okay? I want to hear what you've got to say after this movie, so please let us hit us up and let us what, let us know what you know, okay? As well, please uh, please be sure to take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. We do have a Twitter account, but you can mostly find us on Instagram and TikTok and see what we're up to over there, guys, okay? But until next time, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Be seeing you.